School districts all over Texas have until Friday to tell the state if they will meet the state's new law. It requires an armed officer on every school campus. Now, tonight, two Central Texas school boards decided to claim an exception. As KXN's Sarah Alsheh explains, the Dripping Springs ISD school board approved a school marshal program as an alternative plan as it tries to fill school resource officer positions. School districts across the state are tasked with an assignment by the Texas legislature, put an armed officer at every school campus. If districts aren't able to comply, they can claim a good cause exception for not having enough funding or personnel to fill those positions. But they have to come up with another plan. It's a new requirement under House Bill 3 going into effect September 1st, leaving many districts like Dripping Springs ISD trying to figure out next steps. You can't... Um, just ask for the exception to be done. Um, you have to uh, establish that alternative standard. DSISD Director of Safety Serena Cumberland says the school board previously approved three additional school resource officers back in May, but those positions haven't been filled yet. There have been um, ongoing uh, staffing uh, shortages with the sheriff's office. So in the meantime, Cumberland recommends a school marshal program so the district can meet this state requirement. It's an idea DSISD parent Nathan Kaspar supports. So we have more campuses than we have officers. We need to have somebody at every campus, if not multiple people at every campus. But not every parent was as enthusiastic. Some encouraging the school board to be very selective with who they hire for those positions. We need to have a really, really tight job description. Um, that has a lot of vetting behind it. Also asking the board to make sure school marshals don't replace any SROs. Cumberland assures that wouldn't happen. Once we get those SROs, they're still going to be the law enforcement on those campuses. Marshals will be just an extra piece of that. Sarah Alshah, KXAN News. And the Hayes CISD School Board also approved a good cause exception. The district is also looking at the Guardian and School Marshal programs as alternatives. The board will take this up again in September. Now for some context on tonight's vote, House Bill 3 was signed into law back in June. That just gave districts less than three months before the law would become effective. Now under this law, districts could face state intervention for noncompliance. Austin area school districts KXN spoke with said they are struggling to come up with the money and personnel to comply with HB3 by Friday. Austin ISD officials said they will need more than 100 officers to comply. Last month, Del Valley ISD approved a plan to hire nine additional officers, and both Georgetown and Leander ISDs announced that they will file exceptions, including an alternative plan because of a lack of funding and staff. Now, House Bill 3 came after last year's deadly mass shooting at Robb Elementary in Uvalde. Since then, more than 15 school districts began participating in the state school marshal program. That's according to the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement. The agency says more than 50 school districts have applied to create certified police departments since the mass shooting. And another thing to watch for this fall is a second special session focused on education in October. Now, the priorities haven't been announced yet, and it's unclear if state lawmakers will revisit the school safety legislation.